All right, welcome back to Gregory88. Greg with a three as a, a three as an E. I'm really enjoying this so far. So basically, what happened last time is that we saw this shit. Yeah, and he's just alone in the woods, scared shitless. And if you haven't, if you haven't watched part one, go watch it right now, and then come back. I have. You know, I'm probably, I probably have a playlist, or I don't know how I'm doing it, but yeah, the playlist link would be in the description. If it's not, then it will be once I finish uploading all of them. Um, and yeah, so you can follow along with me if you want. Uh, this is the Twitter handle. Um, this is a, basically a viral Twitter thread. And uh, it was, this is old, it's not really new, 2018. All right, let's get started. The past couple days have been really strange. I also have a shitty reception up here, so I'm sorry for not updating. They sent a police officer up yesterday morning, but I feel like it didn't accomplish anything. Anyway, the cop drove away and I was alone again. It's so damn quiet up here. All I want to do is leave, but I feel like I can't. I'm so far away from home that I can't even invite a friend up here to keep me company. And even if someone did come, it would take them a couple days. Damn. I haven't seen the woman from before, but I feel like she's still out there and other weird things are happening too. I took a walk around the lake yesterday because I wanted to get a look at the other houses in the area. Maybe see if someone else has noticed anything weird. But they're all empty. Every house is totally dark and there are no cars in any of the driveways. I haven't, I haven't seen a single person at all, except once. Well, sort of. After I came back from my walk, I was out on the deck and saw a boat in the water, way off in the distance. Oh wow, look at that. They weren't moving. They stayed there all afternoon. I feel like they were watching me. Look at that. So creepy. What are they doing? Maybe he's just paranoid, bro. Maybe you're just paranoid, bro. Who knows? They actually stayed out there in the same place until it got dark to see until it got too dark to see them anymore normally i'd think they were just fishing if it weren't for what happened the day before and the fact that all these houses seem empty where did they come from good point i guess uh, now it's kind of scary what a creepy what a creepy place i don't what a creepy story the boat was gone this morning so who knows i microwaved some oatmeal for breakfast and took it down to the dock near the water it's weird, but I sort of feel safer down there. The water makes me feel less stressed, I guess. Well, that's good to find a good ex escape to some things, you know? I feel kind of, I kind of feel like time goes by faster when I'm by the lake. Hello, everybody. Um, I bet you're wondering why I'm saying hi. Well, it's a few days later, right? Only a few days later, and I know exactly where I left off on the Greg story. I was kind of dreading recording this part of the, the video because um, creepy things have been happening in the house lately, like, I'm telling you. Um, first of all, here's a video, right? What the fuck? Yo, I have goosebumps. <laughs> this is my radio clock, and it just turned on. Pretty creepy, right? I, I mean, like, it's not, I mean, like, I don't understand, but, you know, whatever is here, I just say hi. Hi! Oh, rest in peace, Corey. Alright, and as as I said, I'm gonna put pictures on the screen. I'm not gonna record the screen for uh, for you to see the tweets. I'm just, just read along if you want. They weren't moving. They stayed there all afternoon. I feel like they were watching me. They actually stayed out there. They actually stayed out there in the same place until it got too dark to see them anymore. Normally, I'd think they were just fishing if it weren't for what had happened bef the day before. And the fact that all three houses seem empty, where were they from? Where did they come from? Shit. The boat was gone this morning, so who knows. I microwaved some oatmeal for breakfast and took it down to the dock near the water. It's weird, but I sort of feel safer down there. The water makes me feel less stressed, I guess. I kind of feel like time goes by faster when I'm by the lake. It's like meditative or whatever. Anyway, I was starting to feel 
Oh yeah, and also there's no mic, by the way. Sorry, I had to stop, but uh, rest in peace, mic. <laughs> Anyway, I was starting to feel a little better about everything this morning if it wasn't for what had happened next. Oh god, what happened? I almost don't want to scroll up. I had finished my oatmeal and and I was starting back toward the house when I noticed something in the water. What, were you freaking walking in the water or something? Alright, here we go. Um, It was in this little inlet by the shore. It was a white, it was a small white and at first I thought a brightly colored rock but I wasn't sure. It seemed too round. Probably against my better judgment, I took my shoes off and went in the water to retrieve it. And it's an eyeball. It was an eyeball. A fucking eyeball. <laughs> I like how they do that. It was an eyeball. A fucking eyeball! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This had to be from an animal, right? Please tell me this is from a big fish or something. I mean, uh... <laughs> Yeah, the, those people probably dropped it whenever they were trying to, you know, give you one of those ornaments. Um, anyway, I threw it back in the water and hustled back up, the, up to the house. I washed my hands in the sink and then sat on the couch for a long time. Okay, I don't know if those details were important, but okay. I don't know what's going on. I can't believe I picked, up that, picked that up out of the water. I still feel gross. <laughs> um... And to make matters worse, the boat is back out there. It showed up again this afternoon, and it was just sitting there in the same place as yesterday. Are they watching me from the boat? All right, I keep hearing things at night. I stand out in, on the deck and feel like I can hear things moving through the trees. It's probably just a deer or something. It's probably just deer or something, but I can't help imagining it's something else. I'm sure I'm making, I'm sure I'm making out, making it out to be worse than it is. Uh, are deer nocturnal? I see them out on the road sometimes when I'm driving into town. I try not to think about it. But last night, it was worse. I heard screams? That sounds so stupid to say, but I don't know what else to call it. I was brushing my teeth and heard something out the bathroom window. I'm sure it was an animal. But my toothbrush was buzzing, so I can't be sure. Man, and like, I wanted to record this like a few days ago when like the weather was bad and after I watched a really scary movie called Tusk, I recommend you watch it. Um, and yeah, uh, I wanted to record this that day and it was like, oh my god. And then this morning, I found the bloody remains of something right in the middle of my yard. It was literal intestines and they were fresh. I feel like I can't even post something like that on Twitter. It's like it's gonna get flagged if I post it. Like it's gonna get flagged if I post it? I don't know what to do. Maybe I can upload it separately and share a link or something. Fair warning, this is pretty gross, so don't look if you're squeamish. I'm sure it's an animal, but I don't... But what did this? And why is it left right in front of my house? Alright, let's see what this link is. Eamger. Ew. Gross. Yeah, sorry, it's disgusting. Anyway, I scooped it up with a shovel and flung them into the woods a ways away from the house. I don't know if bears are up here. I couldn't leave it, but I couldn't leave it. And besides, animals, animal guts are the least of my worries right now. I have other things on my mind. Yeah, legit. I've been trying to figure out what's written in this notebook from the woods. You know, if you like have uh, like little writing uh, the writing marks on the page, you can, like, take a pencil and you can shade it over the page. If there's, like, the remains of, like, what was left, what was written on the other page, you can, like, take a pencil and then shade over that and then you can see. But, yeah. I'm just saying for you guys who don't, like, really know. Yeah, I've been trying to figure out what's written in the notebook from the woods. I've had a couple days and I see faint letters but can't make them out. A bunch of people replied and told me to do a pencil over a charcoal rubbing or a pencil or charcoal rubbing oh okay well okay I didn't have anything like that oh okay never mind I found a bunch of pins but no pencils 
So I had to go back into town. It was actually really hard to find charcoal. I finally had some luck in this little hardware store. The box didn't even have a price tag on it. So I feel like I, so I feel like it had been sitting there for on the shelf for years. It seemed like people in town were staring, were starting to recognize me. I don't like it. I didn't plan to be here that long, but it looks like I might not have a choice. People are nice enough, but it seems like the kind of town where everyone knows everyone and I definitely don't d don't belong. When I was in the hardware store, these little kids were following me around giggling and making fun of me. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really funny. <laughs> they they were probably the Coco Bon army, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we we don't take no shit from no one new. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> subscribe so we can make fun of you. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But uh yeah, subscribe. Anyway, um, I think they were twins. I couldn't really hear what they were saying, but I'm sure they were making fun of me because little kids are jerks. <laughs> wow. This guy is either really smart or really paranoid. On the way out of town, I stopped at the grocery store, but they were out of some things I wanted. It seems like they're always out of stuff. They've been out of eggs for a couple days, so I got some Pop-Tarts and stuff to and left. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, the notebook. <laughs> I've, anyway, the notebook. I've actually been putting it off for most of the afternoon because I wasn't sure I wanted to find out what that woman was writing in it. How do you know it was the woman? And what if that eye was for the woman? What if the notebook took out the woman's eye? I can't ignore it forever. I'm gonna eat dinner and then I guess I'll try the charcoal. I'll be back in a bit. Jesus, so I did... So I did a charcoal rubbing over the most recent page in the book like people were telling me to. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. I'm sort of freaking out. Alright, and here is the... Images? They took my eyes, they took my eyes, they took my eyes, they took my eyes. Wow, that is really creepy. Hmm. What even is this? What the fuck? <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I need to go sit down. What the hell is going on? I hope you're enjoying this series so far. Uh, I'm gonna have to leave this episode here right now. If you liked it, leave a like for part three. Uh, I'm, in, I'm, a, I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of excited to see how this story unfolds um yeah sorry if this episode was a bit short uh, i will try to get to part three as soon as possible i will read the next I i'm gonna read more tweets for part three all right um i just need to because like the threads it's kind of confusing me so i'm just gonna kind of um like i don't know it's kind of a really i don't know the organization of the twitter account it's kind of confusing me uh <laughs> anyway <laughs> it's just like it's that's pretty much the only reason so i'll see you soon with part three uh sooner than you think to be honest uh, at least i'll try <laughs> all right um i'll catch you guys later uh, if you're new subscribe if you're not stay subscribed and i'll see you later bye bye